lovely little rainbow lorikeets having their breakfast on my deck. They're very noisy. You can tell spring's coming soon, and they're carrying on a little bit. Look at them. Those ones on the stick on the end. The males are doing their thing, fluffing up and trying to impress the girls. G'day, guys. Welcome back. Look, I'm going to do an acrylic pour for you today and I'm going to use my split cup, which I haven't used for a long time. I go through these phases, you know, I do blooms and then it's just bloom, 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 bloom. And then I do swipes and it's swipe, 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 swipe. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll probably do a few um, split cups shortly for you. So um, in my favorite colors orange navy white and turquoise so that's uh, my colors now when i do um ring pores traveling pores things like that i use a much thicker mix so i do um 70 30 so it's 70 percent um, elmer's glue all and 30 percent water and then i mix that one to one with my paint and i'm using the Montmartre acrylic that's the that's the navy well that's the phthalo blue and I add a little bit of black and a little bit of green the green just to combat it going purple so that's that one that's the orange I did put a tiny little splash of red into it just to darken it a bit and then I've got turquoise and white and I've got some extra navy and it's thinner this was mixed two to one so two parts of my pouring medium to one part of the paint and that's going to be around the outside that's going to be my flow enhancer so that's that one um actually i should show you a couple of pores that are dry you've probably already seen this one that was my blue and gold swipe that i did look at that shine love it so not as many cells on that one as this one. This one looks like um, 101 Dalmatians, spray painted gold. <laughs> so that's that one there. A lot more cells on that one. So you can sort of control the amount of cells that you want. I wouldn't mind doing another one of these actually and not using any silicone at all um, and just getting that beautiful shimmer probably get um, cells anyway natural cells but I thought I might do that right let's get on to today's pour this is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvas 12 by 24 inches um, now this the two side compartments are a little bit smaller I think they look it it, it holds about 600 grams of paint um, and then I've got another 200 grams there. So 800 grams in all for that size. Righto, no silicone in these. Now they're pretty thick. Look at that. Big mound on a mound. You want them thick so that your rings will actually stay in shape. Whoops. Spillage. Spillage. Uh, yeah, so you want them nice and nice and thick, your rings. So that they keep their shape. I'll just let that settle. I might be able to put a tiny little bit more in there. I'm not sure. Right, and then the navy next to it. This is the, the order that I want them to, to go in. Now you can see that that one's much bigger. It's not even filling up. So I did 70 grams of pouring medium and 70 grams of 
paint. Actually, when I checked it, I poured water into this here and um, it was 150 mils of water. But um, paint's heavier than water, so yeah, it's different. It's okay. I'll put these over here. <clears throat> Once they all start pouring out, it'll, it'll even itself up. And then I wanted the white next to the navy for some lovely contrast. So I'm going to do a traveling ring pour. And then I'm going to basically just tilt the canvas that way and that way and hopefully get some beautiful stripy patterns. That's the plan. I, prob I will most likely have to sort of tilt over the corners, but I basically want to just go up and down to get some stripes. So we'll see how that works. I haven't got much white in there either. Maybe I need more paint. See the end one here is smaller again. I wish when they'd made it, they would have made it equal sizes, but they didn't. Put a little bit more in there. Okay, that's all I can fit. Um, <laughs> I guess I could make up a little bit more, couldn't I, and, and fill them. Oh, doesn't matter. Right, now, the other thing is if you pour up this way, you're going to get a different pattern to starting here and pouring down. I don't know why, it just is. Like, it, it just is, it's weird. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just coat the whole thing first. That way, um, It'll just help my, my paint slide and hopefully I won't lose my design too much. So let me just get my little spreading tool. Where are you? Um, open the door. I've got the heater on today. It's, oh, it's eight degrees outside. Pretty cold in here too. So I've got the heater on, but now I had the door closed. But now I'm getting hot. I've got two shirts on and a painting jacket and the heater on. So yeah, getting warm now, warming up. Actually, I should keep a little bit of this. Where is it? I'm going to take a little bit back just in case I need some for my sides of the canvas. Whoops, stuck. It's always a good idea to leave a little bit left, and I've got plenty here. All right, there we go. Just in case I need something to touch up my edges, I'll have that. So it looks as if I've got plenty, doesn't it? These are great, these um, big palette knives. Or I think they're actually for icing cakes, but it makes really light work of coating a canvas. Okay, that'll do. It doesn't have to be perfect. I will go over my, hopefully I'll tilt over my edges and if I don't go over all of them, then I've got my little bit of leftover in the cup. Okay, now I'm going to pour up first. Um, <clears throat> now the other thing which is really tricky is you don't know how much, like how fast to go, because I don't want to have to come back twice. I, so yeah, it's just tricky. I'll just have to um, just go for it and see what happens. Now, uh, how do I get all my... See, the white's way down there. I'll have to sort of tip it to get all my colours out. Here we go. And as I said, I don't know how fast I need to really go. I don't want to get to the end and have a lot of paint left, but then on the other hand, I don't want to not have enough to get to the end but I think it's working okay getting pretty close to the the canvas 
so that um, my rings aren't going wobbly. How's it looking? I can't see much white, you guys. Can't see much, much white. I'm just going to have a little, a little practice here and just see what happens if I go from the top down. Come on, we've got any paint left? Come on, out you come. I don't think there's anything left. Oh, a tiny bit. I just want to have a little look and see what happens if I go the opposite way. There's all the white. It's weird, isn't it, how you get something different. Okay, so this one. Um, <clears throat> this is how I do my little experimenting. Alright, and then I know that's what it looks like when I drag the cup that way. Different to this way, isn't it? This one's got a lot more white. This one's got a lot more of the um, the other colours. The white's on the outside. Um, I mean, there's tiny little tips there. <clears throat> but maybe next time I can do one going the other way and they can hang next to each other, hey? Let me just put that aside for now. So that's what I tend to do when I do my little experiments. Whoops. And I know I can look back on them. That was pretty good, hey? I got just the right amount. Oh, I love these. Look at the points on them. Wow. Okay, so as I said, I just basically want to go up and down. Um, and we'll see what happens. If I have to go across to the corner a little bit, I will. Otherwise, I might be happy just having the navy on the edge. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And some areas like this, it's moving faster because it's got more paint there. Let me just see if I can keep that and maybe tip some of this off. I can. I should be able to move it a little bit. See, that's a lot of the turquoise there. So I might try and get some of that off. I don't want to lose all of this at the moment. It's like when I'm doing my flip cups. I <laughs> manoeuvre them a little bit so that you can... Um, you know, keep some stuff, get rid of some other stuff. Well, I don't know what to do next because I don't want to lose all of that. I might come back this way. Do a chicken paw. Buck, buck, buck. So it's flowing nicely because it's on that background. Just going to get it to there and then go back. I'm going to see if I can go to that little corner over there. I'll we'll go over the edge. I'll just have to go for it. Over the edge. Over the edge. Okay, and back. And while the weight of the paint's all kind of up this end, I'll come, I'll bring it down here, I think. And then I'll have to tackle the other side. I don't know what I'm going to do about that side. Hope you can see. Maybe I need to turn it around. I'll see if I can turn it around without getting it on myself. Now, what was I doing? Oh, over this corner. Actually, I might try and... Hmm. I don't mind if I leave that corner navy. I'm just going to get this over. That corner can actually stay navy. I don't mind that at all. Let's come back to the middle. Managed to keep a little bit of white there. That is really bizarre. My white's on the edge. How did I put my colours in? My white... My white's on the edge here. Although the white wasn't on the edge in the cup. I had the orange and the navy on the edge of the cup. Right now, I'm going to have to come up this way. Just have the weight of the paint in the middle so that I can move it up and then I'll go to each corner. It's so bright, oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to head off for that corner down there now. 
I'll try and I have to get a little bit of this off here when I'm wriggling my thumb. Hope that I don't lose too much of my design. I'm going to lose all that white down the bottom there by the looks of it. All right, now that the weight of the paint's already up this side, I'm going to go straight down. All right, I'll turn it. Turn it around. Try not to get it on my painting shirt. Okay, hands around the outside so you don't get paint all over you. You don't drip paint into your work. I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, you know, but because I wanted to kind of keep my lines all straight, but you do have to cover everything. Okay, it's just gone over. Now let's come back again. That orange is so dominant, isn't it? Now let's take it back to the center a little bit and hopefully my turquoise can come back. So as long as you've got enough paint, you can actually, you know, try and straighten up these orange lines down here. If you've got enough paint, you can sort of tip over there a little bit. I'm going to see if I can straighten them up. Oh, that'll do. I don't want to lose all that white. There's a tiny bit of white left. Let's bring it back. Wow, do you like it, you guys? It's so pretty. Okay, and then you kind of just have to decide where you want to stop, how much, um, you know, navy you want showing over there. I might bring it back this way a little bit, just because I've got a lot more turquoise, I think. Let's bring it back a little bit more. But can you see the, the difference that a really thick mix makes? You know, you keep your, your lines in line they're nice and thick they don't blend too much now I'm just gonna be careful I don't over tilt I'm gonna leave it there otherwise my lines end up going more like wiggles alrighty woohoo <laughs> love it so this is where I had the more of the circle at the end so it's got a bit of a curve happening there uh, we've got that sort of turquoise corner there and the navy corner down here that kind of balances that I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna wipe my hands. Hang on one sec. Oh, it's a messy job I love it you guys. I'm standing back over here looking at it now. There's a tiny little bit of Navy Just there. I want to see if I can get rid of that And just put a bit of white oops a bit of white just there I guess it doesn't really matter I'm just being pedantic all right um, now my little bit of navy that I've got left over I do need to cover my edge that corner is turquoise so I'll have to put some turquoise there Must have had um, slightly different shades of navy. I did have to make up more navy because I ran out. I can see a slight different shade there. Um, you can be navy too because I've got no white left. Just put it on, let it fall down on its own. Wipe the bottom because that'll stop the um, paint from trying to run down because the weight of it on the side is going to pull your pattern down. So just with a, a stick or palette knife, just clean underneath like that. And I do need to pick up a little bit of turquoise. And there we go. Actually, I don't know if I've got some turquoise in my cup. Oh yes, I have because it didn't fit, it didn't all fit in, did it? Look at that. Now this corner needs some turquoise, and um, I will actually just make this corner turquoise as well because it's just gone a bit blobby now. <laughs> I've tried to match different colours. I'll just put turquoise on it and be done with it. There we go. 
Oh, what do you think, you guys? What do you think? I'm tempted to do another one now, going the opposite way, just to see what happens. What do you think? What should we do two? I could do it before I clean my flip my flip cup, my um, split cup. So we have got a few tiny little cells happening there. Just get these gloves off. Uh, I'm not going to torch because I don't want more cells coming up. Got a tiny little bit of mixed, unmixed paint just sitting there. Let's get you down. Gee, that orange is very dominant. I'm going to take turn my ring light off. It's very dominant. I might make less next time of the orange. I mean, it's bright. Let's have a look. Look at those stripes. Aren't they gorgeous? So that orange there, I mean, it's probably equal amounts of orange and navy, but it just looks so bright. And again, through my screen, the turquoise looks blue. It's not, it's turquoise. When I put, when I put my photo up, um, what about if I come right out here? Does that look more turquoise? No, it still looks blue. When I put my photo up, I'll show you the correct color. My poor cam camera doesn't know what to focus on. It says there's too many lines. I don't know what to focus on. Yeah, I'm going to change there. Yeah, change to that. Why wasn't I on that one before? I've got these three little flowers on my screen. And I usually use the one in the middle. And for some reason, this has got two little flowers. For some reason, I was on three flowers. I don't know why. Is that change in navy I was telling you about? <laughs> One navy's darker than the other. I must have added more black to it. So there we go. What do you think? Love it. Woohoo. <laughs> little, little bit too much orange for me, but. And we lost a lot of the white, but it's. Um... I might make up some more paint and we'll go again, hey? Because my split cup. I can use my same split cup. My um, cups are here. There's no, you know, I can just make up more and, and we'll go again. So um, you probably won't see the the painting on the same day. We'll leave it for another day, but I will do it now. And we'll, we'll pour it the other way and, and see what happens, all right? Thanks for watching, you guys. Really appreciate all your love and support. I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, bye for now.